How's it going? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be record the square root on portion on in the code. Uh, this question is one of the top um, interview question. Um, it's very popular, so let's try, jump right into it. Implement integer square int x. Compute and return the square root f um, of x, where x is guaranteed to be a non-negative integer. Since the return type is an integer, the decimal digits are truncated, and only the integer part of the result is returned. So if our input is 4, our output is 2, because, well, square root of 4 is 2. If our input is 8, the output um, is still 2, because the square root of 8 is 2.8, 2, 8, uh, 4, 2, and because the digi decimal digits are truncated, so we don't care about what is after um, the decimal points, and we only care about the integer, right? So when I first get this question, I was like, well, um, in Python, you can just use the math.squareRoot um, function and passing the x, and then you casting the result into an integer, and um, this will help you to truncate it, what it, whatever is after the decimal points. Well, it is correct, but um, this is not, not how you go are going to approach this problem because, well, everyone know Python knows about the math module and math.square root and well if you can do that then there is no point for the interviewer to test this question right it will be like way too easy so we actually for this question have to create a function by ourselves instead of using the built-in uh, python um, functions if that makes sense so another approach is to, well, if you think about, um, well, 8, if it's the number you are trying to get the square root from. So basically, you are going to see, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, if you are trying to get the square root of x, you will know that it's any number that is less or equal to uh, 8, right? Because the square root is always less or equal to itself. For example, the square root of 0 is 0. It's equal to itself. Square root of 1 is 1, equal to itself. Square, square root of 2 is 1.4, which is less than 2. So the square root of some number is always less or equal than itself. So, you know, if you get a random number, the square root is always um, a number that is less or equal to itself, right? So, so basically, if you use that algorithm, you can just write a for loop. So for i in for i in range um, x, basically you can do that, right? So this will give you a number x plus one. So this will give you a number from zero all the way to itself, and you just go and check each number whether um, it is the square, correct square root, right? But in that case, um, it's still not fast enough because you potentially have to go through each and every um, every um, uh, number in the list. And if your number is huge, say it's like, it's huge, then you have to like go through each one, each one, and it, it will be really, really slow. So how do we find um, approach this problem. So if you are familiar with binary search, binary search should be how you approach this problem. So binary search basically means, um, well, I have a list of numbers um, and they are sorted. How do I get the correct number, right? So say like the correct square root is seven. So I'm, well, I am just going to check the middle point. And the middle point is too small, then I will check the middle point of the subarray. I'll check six, and six is too small, I'll check the middle point of the subarray. And I get seven, and bingo, uh, it's correct. So this is, um, definitely look up like what binary search is, because binary search uh, will be um, the algorithm we 
um, that is behind our solution. So let's try to code it up. Um, first of all, let's check some corner cases. Return x. So if um, because x is always a non-negative integer, so if x is zero, return zero, right? Uh, because square root of zero is zero. If x is one, return one. Because square root of one is one. And so we check some corner cases and we write the binary search. So we initialize a variable called low and um, it's zero uh, because remember we are checking the number from zero to itself, right? And our high number is, is x. Um, because we handle the corner cases here, so we know that um, if x, so if x is 0 and 1, we handle the corner cases.